Hello, and welcome to my new video. So, in the last computer-related video, uh, I decided the ThinkCenter M51 was obsolete. It had a 32-bit processor, so you can only run 32-bit operating systems on it, and, and uh, moreover, bad things had happened to it. Uh, the SATA drive connector was broken, so I decided to consign this to the dustbin of history. And now I have this computer. This was originally my uh, FreeNAS box. I was using this for local backups. However, all the drives on this FreeNAS box died. Uh, so this computer is essentially left for dead. So when I was cleaning up the basement, I found this computer. Um, and I, um, I figured, well, this has a good motherboard bad hard drive so I could just replace the hard drive and this computer was resurrected. This computer is based on the Intel desktop board DG31PR which is a micro ATX form factor. Um, so basically ATX is like 12 inches by 9 inches. Um, this is micro ATX which is about 9 inches square or in the specifications, it says micro ATX uh, 9.60 inches by 8.60 inches. Um, so basically, it fits into a mini tower case. This is what I have. This this is a Rosewill mini tower case. Okay, well, um, we can see the from the computer here. Um, there's a DVD-ROM drive, which is good for installing the operating system. That's pretty much it. Um, this also has a uh, SD card reader, which is there because um, I installed it on, on the um, the space for the floppy drive. I lost. There's a plastic part that's supposed to go over the the part the floppy drive bay, um, but I lost that years ago. So I'm just I have the SD card reader in there now, and a big button um, that powers on the machine. Okay, so now we see the back of the computer. Um, oh, good news. There's a, a PS2 keyboard and mouse port, so we can reuse the old uh, keyboard and mouse. And, oh, a bit of good news. We have an Ethernet port. Um, see, so it supports uh, a gigabit e uh, Ethernet. It supports uh, 10, 100, 1,000 megabits per second. Um, LAN subsystem using the Realtek RTL811-GR Ethernet controller. So that's a bit of good news. Uh, so this is a bit of good news. So this is like Intel, even in their uh, no frills motherboard, they give you a little bit extra. Unlike the Dell uh, systems I've seen, um, they, get, they give you a PS2 keyboard and mouse port, and they give you a gigabit Ethernet controller. And now this is a picture of the inside of the computer. Apologies for my poor cable management skills. Um, and you're probably not going to learn anything from looking at this. So instead, I think I'm going to post um, a screen capture of the manual for this uh, motherboard. Uh, this is, again, this is the Intel DG31PR. Uh, um, so here's a screen capture. Okay, now we have a screen capture of this page from the uh, motherboard manual. Uh, we have A and B, which are PCI slots. Um, PCI is kind of old, but this is an old enough motherboard where they, they have to support it. Uh, there's C, which is uh, PCI Express times one, which we may use to for uh, an expansion card. There's E, which is uh, PCI Express times 16, which I'm going to use for the a video card. There's um, J, which is uh, the LGA775 uh, CPU socket. Um, this basically supports uh, Pentium 4s. Um, there's L and M, which are DIMM sl slots. Um, unfortunately, this only supports uh, 4 gig gigabytes of RAM. Um, but there's also R, which is uh, the parallel ATA aka IDE connector. So this still supports um, IDE drives. Um, and then there's 
um, P, which is um, the diskette drive con controller. Um, so it's old enough to where it still supports a, um, a disk drive, floppy drive. Um, and then there's a U, which is SATA, uh, um, SATA connectors. Um, and then what else? Do, there's a T, which is uh, the Intel A2801 GB IO controller hub. Um, so basically, it's, it's uh, a no frills motherboard, but again, they give you a little bit extra with this motherboard. So I decided I was going to use this computer, but I need some upgrades. Um, the upgrades were a video card, um, so it could support either an HDMI or DVI monitor, and also an SSD. Uh, so I'd use that and for um, fast loading of the operating system. So in the next video, I'm going to install these upgrades, and I'm going to install the operating system on the onto the new solid state drive. So I'll see you in the next video. Um, fast loading of the operating system. So in the next video, I'm going to install these upgrades, and I'm going to install the operating system on the onto the new solid state drive. So I'll see you in the next video.